Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 3 of Bali United. And today we have two big games. We have a game in the league against Madura United. And then a game in the AFC Confederation Cup against Home United. But let's have a look at transfers first. Because the transfer window has closed and we have got some new people in the club. Uh, first up, I have a quick look at the out. Uh, Naoman Sakuri here. We let him go 20 grand. I think that's a stunning fee from what is essentially a very average midfielder. Um, so that was good to get him out of the club. But people that have come in. Now, I don't remember where we left off. Had we signed Fabri Hayadri? I think we had. I think we had signed him, hadn't we? So he's come in. Uh, and had we signed Siswanto again? I'm not sure if we had or not. I think maybe we did. Um, but, you, but you'll see in a second. He's, uh, he's already played, made his debut, uh, and looks a good player for us. So we signed him for 45 grand. I can't remember if, I, if we'd already mentioned that or not. But the one that I know we certainly haven't mentioned yet is this guy uh, who... <laughs> I really, uh, let's, let's, and then, um, now we signed him. It looks like he's a center back. Don't believe that for a second. He's, he's our new uh, backup right back. He's going to certainly, uh, be one of the two fighting for the right back slot. He's got really, really good pace. Uh, his stamina is not the best. Neither is his natural fitness, but we'll work on that. That'll be fine. Uh, but good pace, good acceleration, good agility, uh, good tackling. He can cross the ball as well, certainly at this level. Positioning's not bad. Decision-making is good, which I'm hoping will mean he'll pick the right time to go forward. Um, passes the ball well. Marky's not the best, but should be okay, uh, certainly at, at that right back anyway. So we're working on him to get him up to, up to speed in that position. You can see he's not the worst already. Um... But yeah, I think I think he'll do well. Fifty grand going up to one hundred and twenty-five grand, which is a lot. But um, we needed to get a right, a second right back in, so we've done that. I'm relatively happy now with the squad that we have. It could obviously always be improved, but I think we have enough to get through uh, to get through the certainly the first half of this season. But before we start and have a look at uh, the Madura United game, let's see how we've done since last episode as we got the league campaign underway. We fell behind after fifteen minutes. Our defence caught square. We responded well and eventually forced the ball into the net after Nuri's shot caused chaos in the Bayakara defence. So there we go, we started with a 1-1 draw on the road to Bayakara. Now I found out afterwards, these, is the, these are actually the defending champions from last season, so not a bad result on the road. Uh, I have to take the blame for their goal. We were playing a high line because they were a passing team, and you can see there we just got caught out. We responded well though, I think at the end of the game we, we were a little bit unlucky not to win it. Um... You can see match ratings aren't great by either team yet. I mean, they'll, that'll come as, as the team gets a little bit better and get used to the way we play. Um, but yeah, that was a decent enough performance. Then we played uh, Persiapora uh, in our second league fixture at home this time. Melia Fenny opened the scoring with a tidy finish at the back post. He doubled our lead before half time, latching onto a wonderful Siswanto through ball. Melbourne found Spasajovic clear of the defence in our box for him to slot in our third. Boaz, yes that one, pulled one back with a wonderful strike. But Batshim restored our three goal margin with an effort from distance that perhaps the keeper should have done better with. So there we go. Much, much more like it. These are the match ratings we want to see, aren't they? Love those. Uh, Boaz got their goal. Now, if you followed the World Series, we are very familiar with Boaz. Uh, an absolute legend of... Uh, of uh, what were we at? Uh, I can't think we were at. Perceiver, wasn't it? Uh, became a legend of that club. Um, and we can see why with that finish. He was... That was a stunning strike, wasn't it? But wasn't enough to get the best of us. Uh, Meliafeni with two. Uh, Spasajevic and Batchum with the goals for us. Basically, to cap off a decent start to the season, if we look at the league table, um, you can see we're sitting there four points from two games, which is fine considering we played defending champions away from home, though they are, that's their only point so far. So maybe they're not as good as maybe got picked apart over the offseason. Uh, and we can see the Confederation Cup table there as well. This is a massive game today against, against Home United. But let's put all that aside for just a second. We have a league fixture first, and this is what we're up against. It's Majura United. Now, how have they gone so far this season? Uh, they are... Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're in the 11th. So one win, one loss. Par for the course, really, isn't it? We are the favourites, as you might expect. Um... This is the scouting report. A cautious, direct team. That seems to be very much the way a lot of teams play. Uh, if we have a look at the team we're sending out. Now, there's a, this is very much a rotated team. I'm favouring the Home United game uh, over this one. So it's uh, Remas in goals. It's uh, Fajin, 
one of our left backs who gets the go here. He's been playing quite well. He's an international as well. Three caps for Indonesia. So he's, he's no mug. He might even be first choice by the end of the season once we sort of figure out exactly how we want to play. Uh, Abdullah comes in to play centre back. I'm not as convinced by this guy, but we'll see how he goes. Uh, he's going to join Ko uh, at, at centre back. Now you might remember him. He played right back in our first game against the Chinese team, uh, but he's in his more favoured centre back this time. And the new boy uh, Latsonen, uh gets a game at uh, at right back for this one. We're going to give uh, Fidel Sasu uh, a, a game here in sort of as a defensive midfielder, uh, 32 years old, but I think he's decent enough and will do a job there for us. Tafik. Gets a game uh, as a more advanced player. It's going to be Paolo Sergio, who's not really match sharp. You can see over here, 58% match. He's just come back to, to training, but we need him. We're going to give him a game. Batchim comes in to play uh, in the number 10 role for this one with Harari, uh, one of the new boys. Not necessarily natural on the right side, so on the left side, sorry, but he'll do a job there for us, I'm sure. And Eka Putra, he's going to get the start up top. Um, yeah, let's see how we do. So it's very much a second 11 that we're sending out. That's not necessarily how we're expecting them to play. Uh, we might need to consider making some changes to our lineup. Uh, well, more our formation uh, than the lineup. Um, expect to pick up where they left off. Um, let's go with that then. Carry on we left off last match, even though it's a completely different team. Uh, only the keeper is the same. But let's see how we do. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's in a way, it's a good opportunity to see... Uh, the second 11 again. Um, well, I've seen them in friendlies, but I think it's the first time we would have seen them on the channel. So, um, yeah, it's a good opportunity, as I said, to see what we have. Uh, I'm not expecting too much from the right back, given that he's still learning the position, but I'd like to, you know, he, we need to play, obviously, to get used to the position. There's a lot of space out here on the left. If we can find the man out there, we do. It's the left back. Can he get a good cross in? No, it's blocked. He might get a second attempt at this, though. What's he got for us? He does dink another one in. It's headed away. It's there for Tafik. Have it, mate. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's truly, truly horrible. Um, ideally, I would have liked to have played one of Lily Pally, Siswanto, or uh, Nuri in this one, but they're all match fatigued. Um, I think Siswanto must have been playing for the team we bought him from, uh, so he sort of came into us a little bit fatigued. And, and the other two obviously were playing for us. So that's where they've got their fatigue from. So I don't want to risk injuries this early stage of the season. Um, yeah, and it's not it's not make or break just yet in any case. So you can really see the natural fitness <laughs> on Letson in there, can't you? He's going to struggle to get through 90 minutes. Um, that's my guess. Not the best first half there, though, was it really? Let's, uh, let's try and fire him up here. Not happy with that, boys. Come on, I know you can do better than that. Um... As I said, it's very much, you can see, look at this, a lot of these guys, it's only their first first or second starts, so we don't want to we don't want to get too down on this. Is there anybody on the bench? We do have options on the bench that I'm not necessarily planning on using in the next one. Um, I'm wondering if we look to, are we exploiting the flanks already? I don't think we are, no. I wonder if we just look to exploit the flanks here. Uh, we might play with a little bit more width as well. Just see if that makes a difference. The way they were lining up, they are sort of very much congested in the middle of the field so if we look to spread them we might find a little bit more luck out there but it's not it's not been great so far however here we go from the corner here already good ball in oh it's over the bar how has he put that over the bar from there i mean if the keeper makes a save that's one thing but surely here we go with paolo sergio but um it's oh it's off the crossbar this is a much better start to the half though isn't it we look much much better albeit just from set pieces so far but that is better than nothing um, here we go again. Paolo Sergio. Can we get on the end of something? There we go. There we go. It's Sasu. He gets his first goal of the season. Paolo Sergio with the good ball in. And that is just what we needed, wasn't it? Let's tell him to concentrate now. We don't want to go and give that away. It's so much space in the middle there. Um, really shouldn't be able to side foot volley in a ball into the box like that, should you? That puts us up to second. Um, <clears throat> and given, you know, we've just come into the club. That's, and we're still basically learning the team as well. That is not the worst thing. I think we've got a little bit of luck with that pass. It's managed to find its way to a teammate. Uh, here we go with Batchum. Oh, it's a good tackle, but it's still going to be picked up by Sergio. What's he going to do for us? There for Letson, and let's see what he can do as a right back. He's got a decent cross on him. It's a decent ball in too. It's Batchum. He turns. There's got to be space somewhere. Paolo Sergio. It's ricocheted out. It's a decent save from their keeper. We're, we look like we're just peppering them right now, don't we? We need to get this second goal, though, just to make sure that 
we put this game to bed. I'm going to make some changes here because there's a few players that aren't doing too well. Let's take off the striker. Let's bring on Sengara here, who is a decent and a good, young, decent uh, striker for us. Um, is there anything else? Batchim's not having the best day. I wonder if Palo Sergio can play in the middle. No, not really. Not really. Um, we might just have to leave it there with Batchim and just hope that he comes good, I think. Because we don't really have another option. You know what we could do, actually? Um, let's show some passion. Given that we're getting towards the end of the game as well, it might be a good opportunity to just start and slow it down a little bit. Take him out. Drop a player back in there. Um, we can probably push you forward to support. We can probably push you forward a little bit more again, uh, just to make sure we still have some sort of threat up there. Uh, we'll leave you there, and that was all looking good. That's all looking good. Uh, what are we, 81st minute? So probably a little bit too early just yet to start closing everything down. Uh, Tafik hasn't had a great game again. He, he's someone I don't think that we're going to look at the keep at the club long term, to be honest. Um, he, he's just not good enough, is he? There is there are, there are good players, Indonesian players, to be had. What I've basically done is I've been scouting the the um, the national teams, so we're sort of finding out the best of the of the Indonesian players. Because I think when you play in a league like this, where you have the foreign player limits, what you really need to do is try and sign the best. Oh, there's a good ball, it's a stunning ball in. You wonder if Senghara could have done a little bit better there. Um, what I, what I always find you want to try and do is sign the best of the domestic players that you can and then just use the foreign players to sort of fill in the gaps. Essentially what I hope to do, sort of, if not this season, then, but, oh, this is a little bit dangerous. This is a little bit dangerous! Remus with a big save in essentially the last seconds of stoppage time. We should maybe be defensive, actually. A little bit of an oversight on my part there. This is surely the last kick of the game. It's a long overhit corner, and there we go. Not the most convincing, but again, let's remember, second 11. And we've done okay there to, to see that out, I think. Uh, we got away with one today, but we did get away with it. So there we go, Bali in control as Sepa Karab uh, brushed the side. Um, a debut out of the way for our new right back, which is good. And if we have a look at the league table, um, seconds now, there is uh, still some clubs there that could leapfrog us, but essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, we're where we want to be, aren't we, after three games? Anyway, guys, wait right there. We're going to be back for Home United in a big... It's, 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 it's huge, isn't it? Let's face it. For top of the group, it's a huge game in the Confederation Cup. Okay, welcome back. We're about to host Home United of Singapore in the Asian Confederation Cup. And you can see, top of the group, we both have uh, two wins from two games. So a win here, and it will, given that the best of the... So the best runners-up, that's what I'm trying to say, getting it out of the group as well. If we were to win here, nine points... We've beaten the other two relatively comfortably. You'd say that it just about guarantees us. If not group uh, winners, then certainly getting out of the group as a runners-up. Now, what I have forgotten to do at the start of the episode, given that the season has now started, just have a quick look at what we're expected to do this season. Um, we're expected to win the league, so no pressure there. We're expected to reach the group stage of the Champions League. We failed to do that, uh, which is a bit of a problem. We're expected to win this Confederation Cup, so no pressure there. Uh, Indonesian Cup, not important. So that might be an opportunity to give some of the other players uh, some game time in that one. Um, so yeah, basically we have a board that's very, very demanding, I'm going to say. If we look at the at the season preview here, um, you can see we are the favourites for the league, which again, no pressure there whatsoever. And if we look at, at the at media 11, is there anybody of ours there? Is that one? No. So we've got Hiradi, who we've just signed, is in the media 11, but on the right, and as you've, we know, we have to, we've been playing him on the left so far, just because we're a little bit short there. Nuri is one of the key players in the league, as is Lily Pally, but we knew that already, didn't we, just by watching us play. Um, and is there anybody else there? No, so we just have the two key players. Surprise me that uh, Siswanto, uh, not Siswanto, what's his name? Uh, Sasev Jelic or Ma Marvin aren't in that uh, list as perhaps as well. But there we go. So that's what we're expected to do. Now, we did have the, uh, so the, uh, the, what's it, the month of the year, player of the month awards, uh, and uh, Miller... Gotta give these names, don't I? Uh, Miller Fanny got player of the month. Uh, is it going to say it down here for me? Here we go. He is, of course, our right uh, our right winger. He got player of the month, two appearances, three goals. He also got young player of the month, so decent month for him. 
Um, but let's go back and have a look at, at this Home United game. They are they are coached by this guy, Sharon. Um, let's see what Shazza can do. We're a balanced mentality, a passing style. So all that being the case, this is how we are looking to go out. We're sending out this, basically the strongest team we have. Uh, Remas goes in goal again. It's Anger Putra, it's Doki, Pacheco, and Adsit as a back four. Nuri and Lily Pali. It's the first time I think we've actually seen them together. And... They are both potentially absolutely just dominant, dominant players in midfield at this level. Um, so I'm excited to see how they do. Uh, we've got Mil uh, Milalafeni, we've got Marvin, and we've got Hamdi in behind Spasajevic. Let's see what we can do. So they come out in the revolutionary 4-4-2. That is what we were expecting them to do in any case. So that's not a problem. Um, what do we say here? Do it for the fans. Um... We're the favourites for a reason. Just got there, relax. All right, we're the favourites. Give the fans a performance. Some calm, we have faith. Uh, you will notice that Nuri is captain, or you may have noticed Nuri is captain. Um, I, basically, he was the best He was the best attributes to be captain. It's a bit of a risk in that it's his first year at the club, and he is Iraqi, so he's not Indonesian, so he probably doesn't speak the language. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, just he'll give out an aura of, <laughs> of being a captain. Um, the previous captain, whose name escapes me, I think it might have been the, uh, Sas Sasu, who scored the goal last game. Um, he didn't take the news well. But, you know, he's got to deal with it because, you know, Yuri is a, a big player for us and he is second string, as we've just seen uh, from last game. Um, they're definitely a passing team here, aren't they? Oh, I tell you what, shots fired. That is that just going to anger us or are we up against a very, very good team here? Um, it was certainly a good goal, wasn't it? They definitely passed it around us. I don't. Do we want to see it again? We might as well see it again. Izik there bouncing it around, bouncing it around. I'm not sure what these two are doing. Maybe go and close somebody down. And yeah, just a good finish at the end of it. We are sort of playing like, you know, maybe we need to be a higher line perhaps if they're a passing team. So I'm trying to keep it compact just to stop them from doing that, basically. That is a horrible free kick from Hamdi. I don't know who that was aimed towards. Um, but we've got it back. Can we can we do something with it here? Just go back to the Pally. There we go. Look for Nuri. We've got space through the middle. There we go with Melvin. Oh, I thought that was a shot. <laughs> what are we doing? Pacheco, decent ball in. Oh, it's hacked clear. We're still there, though, with Doki. Back for Pacheco. Our two, of course, free scoring center backs out on the left wing. I'm not sure that's where we want them, to be honest. But we've gone out to Pacheco again. We might need to exploit the flanks. There's a lot of space out there. It's back post. Oh, it's Miller, Fanny, and he can't quite force in another goal. But we've responded well to going behind here, haven't we? Corner comes in. One of the center backs. Oh, it's well punched clear. And are we going to find ourselves... On, on uh, attack here. Come on, boys. Come on. Keep your shape. Keep your shape. That's a horrible pass, and that ends the highlight there. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, they're a good team, aren't they? They they appear to be a very, very good team. The goalkeeper's looking disinterested. That's not that's not the best. Uh, if somebody needs to look interested, it's probably the goalkeeper who will end up conceding a horrible goal here. All right, let's demand more. Come on. Here we go with Melvin. Melvin! No, not quite there. Not quite there. Let's uh, uh, let's try to exploit the flanks here. Uh, and let's... Maybe we're just being a little bit too smart for ourselves trying to do this. So let's just let's just do that. Um, I mean, how good can they possibly be at passing the ball? Famous last words, I know. Come on, boys. Show some passion here. Here we go with the throw. Putra in there for Melvin. For Hamdi. Here we go with Doki. Lily Pally. Melvin again. What's he got? Can he pick out a pass here? Oh, what a, what a move that is. Go on yourself, mate. Oh, it would have been goal of the season. He's pushed it just ever so slightly past the post. Let's go attacking. Come on, boys. Come on. What we don't want to do is go and lose at home to this mob because then we've got to go to home, home ground. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we don't want to lose at home to home because then we have to go to home's home ground and try and beat home. Um, if you... Oh, what is that? I mean, it's a stunning strike. But we don't... We, we, we're looking completely out, hopeless. Hopelessly outclassed defensively. Let's give it a tighten up. We don't want to see that again. And they've scored from their only two shots on target. I don't know that we've been that bad. But some of the match ratings from our players is not good. We're not... We're clearly not taking chances. We're not playing well. We might need to give a bit of a wake-up call at the break here. Um, sort of given how the first, there we go, this is a good ball for Spasajevic, can he get on the end of it, oh, it's a stunning volley scissor kick thing, um, but couldn't find the back of the net, look at these match ratings, we're absolutely woeful, 
We're going to have to be aggressive at half-time. I mean, it hasn't been that bad. But the match ratings just aren't good enough. We need to be better. We need to be much, much better. And the thing is, is that we've seen that we are better than that as well. We'll give this a little bit of time here in the second half to see what we can do in terms of improving ourselves. Uh, and otherwise, we will need to make changes. Um, some of the new signings aren't available for this one. Siswanto isn't available. Uh, neither is the, the winger, uh, Hirarati, or whatever his name is. Um, so we're missing, we're missing a few that we, you know, we, and the new right back as well. We just, we can't register them in the squad. So there's nothing we can do about that. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. We're going to try playing Sousa as a, on the left because he just has an absolute nightmare. Um, do we push Marvin up? I'm wondering, or do we just put? The fact he's not a bookie makes me nervous. Let's not let's not go silly with changes though. Um, all right, let's try let's try raising the tempo. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. Let's play with a bit more width and see how that goes. Um, Spasajevic is having an absolute nightmare up top, isn't he? A six point one. We might need to look to make a change there because that's clearly not working. Uh, now, is Ifran a decent enough striker? I, is he better than Eka Putra? He just might be, you know, better movement off the ball. So let's try him up front um, and just see how that goes. Neither of the fullbacks have done particularly well either. Can we defend a set piece? Lily Pally's there. It's a good header, but it's, it's we're not closing them down, are we? It's yeah, we don't we don't look good here. Work to do on the training ground. We're going to have to do some defensive work, I think. I mean, we haven't looked good going forward either. Has it just been one of those days? Come on, boys. Have we nick that? No, we can't even nick that. All right, let's go. Let's get stuck in now. We are at risk of we're at risk of uh, getting players sent off here, but we've got to try something to get back into this game. Um, yeah, let's just keep it at that. It might be a, just a good sort of learning experience for us, if nothing else. I'm wondering, given that they're a passing team. I probably should have gone in with a number with a DM and not a number ten. Uh, in hindsight, I wonder if it's too late to change that. We, we're chasing the game a little bit now, so it just might be a little bit too late to do that. Um, but that's a lesson that I'll learn because we've looked way, way too open, haven't we? What are we doing? Don't just clear it and stand there and watch it, Pacheco. Come on, mate. Marvin brings it down. Can we launch a counter attack here? Here we go. If we can get one, you never know. But we're not going to get one there, are we? Here we go. Come on, boys. Let's put a ball in the net. There it is. There it is. It's Nuri. Oh, how have we not scored there? How did we not stick that away? Show some passion here, boys. For the love of God, do something that resembles football. Every highlight, it just starts with them with possession, doesn't it? They've gone early again. We should be there. Adzit picks it up. Lumps it forward. Melafeni has it back for Lily Pally. What's he going to do? Ball in there for Marvin. Marvin. It's a decent looking pass for Paolo. Sergio it's a penalty. It's a penalty. All right. Nuri to take. If we can get back to 2-1, you just never know. You just never know. It is a big, big moment in the game. Come on, Nuri. Come on, mate. He's a good penalty taker. I think his penalty taking is 17. So at this level, that's basically world class. I mean, it's, it's not bad at any level. Come on, boys. Let's uh, let's push forward. Let's go again. Let's go again. Um, I mean, we wouldn't really deserve anything from this game, but you just never know. You just never know. Let's uh, let's go a bit more, a bit more direct as well. Um, I still think we want to work the ball into the box, just because. Just because. Let's. Push them high up the pitch. Let's see if we can if we can win the ball back high up the pitch here. Come on, boys, push forward. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I mean, it's telling. The only goal we scored was from the penalty spot. We never. We just. We created chances. That's the thing, isn't it? We didn't. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. But the highlights tell a story, and the highlights were just all them, weren't they? Um, that wasn't good enough. Protectors battle for victory. I mean, I think. We are going to have games like this while you know while we settle in and get things get things underway. Um, that was just really really poor, wasn't it? You can see there the, the 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 dynamics. The team cohesion is still not great, so that's that's going to improve, and we're going to get better as that improves. Dressing room atmosphere. Obviously, we've taken a bit of a hit after that. Of course, it's our first defeat 
uh, well, other than the Chinese game. It's our first defeat as manager. Um, but that, that leaves us in a little bit of a hole now to top the group. We need to go to their place and win. Um, and that, on the basis of what we've just seen, is not going to be the easiest easiest task that we that we could have. But guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, it's a good game. It will tell you what, not even a good game, was it, really? We... 1-0 and a 2-1 loss. Apologies, guys. But if you, maybe just a, a sympathy thumbs up uh, for the team. Uh, and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Just discovering the series. Uh, and let's, don't, be, don't be shy to use the comments. Let me know what you think, where we can improve, what we can do to improve. Um, I just think, and looking back at that, that game, we should have started with a DM uh, and maybe just prevented them from, from passing or get a little bit of protection in front of our back four just may have stopped a few of those goals or those chances anyway but guys we'll be back we want to get this season underway i think we've seen what we can do i, I i'm relatively confident we'll beat those two uh so what i think we might do is we'll come back for mitra kuka uh in the league who are struggling right now but i don't know they 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 may come good but the big game i think is home and united away isn't it uh so that's for next time i said we'll get the season underway uh but until then guys i've been Aussie Villain. thank you so much for watching take care